Beauty. Oh, welcome to my channel. <laughs> Hello, people. How are you diddly doodling? My name's Kerry, if you haven't seen me before. Someone kept asking me my name. I think I'll tell you. Maybe I forget. I've got a bit of a toothache today because Kerry's been eating too many cake and biscuits. You can tell. Look at the chubby cheeks. I'm finally putting on weight. If you didn't, haven't seen me, if you didn't, if you haven't seen me before, I used to be anorexic, believe me. But I quite liked my thin face, but it's getting a bit chubby. I think it's because I can't, I don't recognise myself. But anyway, hey ho, at least I'm eating. So, welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, it is karmicky sometimes, but not always because I'm guided by my angels. So I give you angel messages as well, which is what I'm going to do for you today. I'm seeing what I'm guided at. Because while I was coming home, I asked my angels and they said to give you some angel cards first. Because it is about your energy as well. So if you don't want to hear about yourself, then bugger off. <laughs> but then if you do, it's good to hear about yourself. And yeah, I do shout, even though I've got a microphone, don't know why. Well, I used to be a carer. I think that's why I shout. I love these cards. I'm going to do some of these because I was guided to these while I was out. Make sure to take them all out of the box today, isn't it? So whatever you're doing today, make sure you do something good for you, okay? You've got to look after yourself. The energy is very heavy, but I'm trying to get out of it. I've been going to bed early. I'm um, off the coffee, but I'm on, like, decaf. So I'm trying, but mm, it's not waking me up. I'm having more coffees than I did before. Because now I'm feeling like I'm not woken up enough. But I'm going to stick with it because I slept all day yesterday. Oh, look what my son got me. I was, first time I've been asleep in ages in the day, look. And my son, I missed him. And I didn't even wake up when he knocked my door. And he, I rang him, I said, oh, have you been round? Have I missed you? It's an orchid. I'll probably kill it. <laughs> Seriously. I kill plants. I don't know why he got, he went, it's real. I went, oh no, how long is that going to last? So yeah, it's a little orchid from my son. And that's a big step to get something off my son like that. Seriously. He's been so good to me lately. He's bought me loads of dog food. And, um, because I'm being nice, he said. It's because you're being nice, mum, and you're being relaxed. Because I was a shit mother. I was. I was terrible. I shouted all the time. Don't get me wrong. We had a good house. We had a lovely home. I had a lot of cars and, like, things like that. But I was very selfish. All I did was throw the kids money and tell them they could go out. I'd give them 60 quid a week, pocket money. They didn't even do nothing. Because I used to just think money was all that. So my kids uh, said to me they wish they didn't have the money. They wish they had me. But um, I couldn't sit at home because I was a working mum and also I wasn't healed. So I used to, if I stayed at home too long, I'd have to have a word with myself and I didn't want to do that. So if I kept moving and kept cleaning and kept going, I'd go to the gym, I'd come home and then the kids would be there, I'd chuck them money to go and get an Indian. It cost like 30, 40 quid when I could have cooked a meal. But I was a good cook as well. I kept a lovely home, always worked, but... I neglected my kids with time because I was obviously always at work. And I don't know why I did it because I was always left at home when I was a kid. But anyway, I learnt my lesson. And um, yeah, so that's why, really. I thought when I got home, I didn't want to sit still because I always felt ashamed in front of my kids. Because, um, and I was always running around like I, I was a little girl myself bringing up my children. So I was always running around like a headless chicken. And like I said, when I talk about karmics, I do get it, because I used to be on that side of the fence. So, um, yeah, I only tell you what I know about, guys. I'm not being a big head. It's just I've had a life. And I always thought, well, what am I life going to do to help anyone else? And then I had an awakening. Thought I was losing my marbles. Went insane. Nearly unalive the ex. And his girlfriends of the whole town. <laughs> I'm being serious. Lost the plot, mate, when I had my awakening. Well, you know, if you've been through it, oh, it's terrible. It's not an easy thing to go through having an awakening. When people go, oh, I'm awake, I'm like, really? I think you'd know if you was awake. Oh, you go through so many different emotions and your body changing. You think you're going crazy, start hearing voices and um, start feeling like the world's a lie, which it is. It's crazy. But anyway, I only talk because it resonates with you guys. So your angels want me to give you messages from them. Okay, so we got, you are feeling somewhat confused by the events that are unfolding around you and the various seemingly contradictory information that are coming your way, all right? So, trust your instincts, guys, and do what they are telling you to do, all right? 
and you will learn a lot about yourself and the direction you want your life to take. So some of you are feeling confused by the events that are unfolding around you. Which, if things are getting different now, or new, or you started a new job, might be in a new place, just everything's new now, because this is your energy, not their energy, all right? You've moved on. We don't want to get stuck with the karmic energy. I don't mind doing karmic reads, like I said, but you can't keep just staying on that, because you will get stuck yourself. Then you'll be living their karma while they're going through their karma. When you're supposed to move on, and you get on with your life, and then let them have their karma. If you keep watching tarot all the time, all the time, you will stay here, and you will be having the karma with them. So what would be the point of, like, moving on? All right? So you probably are feeling a bit confused by events that are unfolding around you. And, I mean, you're probably getting downloads from the divine as well, which you might not know. Are, de are they downloads or not? Are they my thoughts or not? It doesn't matter. If it's your thoughts and you feel like they are your thoughts, the angels are putting them thoughts in your head. could be your higher self. You just have to sort of distinguish what you go with. So, when you've healed and you come out of your head, obviously, you're not going to start imagining things and you know that whatever you're thinking is what you're supposed to be thinking. So, just go with your intuition, all right? So don't worry, guys. You will be a fine. Always reminds me of Dreamcatcher. Oh, no. We're having two moons soon. This moon thing's puzzling me. I don't understand it. I had to Google it last night. Seriously, I'm here, but I don't know everything. <laughs> Seriously, I don't. Right, so angels, what messages do you want to give to the collective from you today? So they know. Oh, straight away. Didn't even get to shuffle them and they came out. I think you've got two there. Right, so sit in silence for a moment, guys, and listen. The answers you've been seeking are finally coming to you. Truly trust. What did I say? My cards always resonate what I say. It's good here, isn't it? I told you, if you ain't been here before, my cards will resonate what I've told you. This is why I chat, because there's a reason behind my madness, okay? So we were just talking about this. And I'll send you, and then it resonates. My cards, the angels will always verify what I've said, so you know I'm not lying. I'm a truth teller, guys. All right, right. Told you it's good here. <laughs> Sit in silence for a moment and listen. The answers you've been seeking are finally coming to you. Truly trust and believe that you are going to make it. And be exactly where you need to be. You are going to make it. I keep telling you this, you're going to make it. And you are and you will. We are on this journey with you. Hang in there. It's not much longer. This is from your angels. How lovely is that? So just sit quiet for a little while, guys, and just listen. And the answers you've been seeking are finally coming to you. Just truly trust and believe that you're going to make it. And be exactly where you need to be. And you are, okay? You are. Not much longer now, guys and girls. Your life's about to change in a big way. Mine is every day, honestly. And I'm a collective like you, so I'm only here to show you that if I can do it, you can. I'm on my own, and uh, I'm getting there, and I have to support myself, and that's why I'm here trying to support you, and you support me as well, and you do. And I am grateful, guys, I really am. So, guys, when there are questions you need assistance with, go inward. Just sit with yourself, meditate on the question, ask for our help also, then trust your intuition, what did I say? Trust your intuition as most often the answer and guidance, guidance will be delivered to you intuitively, see? We are with you always. And my angels are with me always. That's why it's, I'm itching. My money hand's itching. That's why I'm always here. Like, I could read without cards because I get downloads. My, my angels know before I even get in this room what cards you're going to have. That's why they kept telling me about the black and white cards. They were guiding me. to the, Look at my shiny face. It's going for an awakening. This is what's going to happen, guys. I might have been frowning a lot there. I'm getting frowny lines. I think it's why I don't wear my glasses. I'm like that. <laughs> Watching TV. I knew I should have done them on the way home. My dogs were so well behaved. We went uptown. Karma barks a lot uptown because he protects Gypsy when there's other dogs. But he didn't today. He had one little bark at a Cocker Spaniel. If we was up the green, he'd play with the Cocker Spaniel. But um, my karma's an ex bully if you don't know him. He's massive. And, uh, yeah, he was really good today. And uh, he looks after my little Gypsy, my little staff. And they were so good. They're just having their dinner now. 
I've changed my dogs into raw food now because um, Karma had terrible spots and um, oh, he was gassing me out. Can't even have a bloke in the house because I can't stand that. I can't, seriously. So yeah, his farts have gone down a little bit. Right, when a door doesn't open, don't waste your energy trying to make it open. What did we say yesterday? It's closed for a reason. You are being redirected to something far bigger and better. Endings are part of the cycle of life. They make way for wonderful new beginnings and opportunities. When I tell you, you're on your way now, guys. You are on your way. You've got new opportunities. could be jobs. It could be anything. Anything you want to be, you can be. Anything you want to create, do it now, guys, okay? Seriously. You can be and do whatever you want to do. Trust me. I didn't think I'd be sitting here on YouTube. I used to work full time, and I mean full time. I'm a workaholic, yeah? And um, I worked so much, I drove myself mad working. I worked myself nearly into an early grave, and I did, especially with this awakening. And I had a breakup, and I'd been sold an illusion just like you. And I was being stalked at work, and they was losing me my jobs, and I was going to another job. I even got money owed to me from one of my jobs, yeah, that he lost me when I was working in the Cotswolds. I was a carpet cleaner. It was bloody hard work. And um, he knew I was getting my van the next day. So anyway, he rang up work because he drugged me and told work that I'd been drinking and I wouldn't be able to go into work the next day. So they said, well, we don't want her here. And they came and got my brand new van. So I didn't even see it be delivered. So I said, oh, my van, my van should be here. And he went, no, nah, they picked it up. I told him he couldn't handle the job. And I didn't even live with him. And he told me, and I didn't even drink alcohol. And he told him that I'd, have, I'd been on the Raz the night before. I hadn't, he drugged me. So I lose my job. And I spent two weeks training to do that. And they owed me money for training. And do you know, I asked him, like an idiot, because I didn't know it was him, lost my, like, lost my job. So I asked him, could he go and get my money? Him and his girlfriend went and got my money. And I didn't find out till a year later. And they went and got my money for my training. And they're on benefits. And they took my money from my training. And it was only 200 quid, but you don't get a lot for training. So I was offered a job at the end of it. And then I would have earned seven to nine hundred quid a week, which ain't bad money for Eng England money. And um, yeah, and they done that. How nice, eh? Benefit bums. So I know what it's like, guys. I only say things to resonate with you. So uh, I didn't think I'd be sitting on YouTube. This ain't me to sit indoors, but I needed to sit indoors because I, I found myself sitting indoors. And I must admit, I don't ever have a boring, bored day of my life. And I used to get so bored being in. If I get bored now, I just do cards. If I get bored, I take dogs out. Or I cook, or I, I love my home. And um, I've always had a lovely home, but I never appreciated it because I never spent no time in it. Paid all that money I did for my home, for me and the kids to live in it, and we was never in it. We weren't, we was never in our home. My kids are always out, hood rattling, as they called it. <laughs> Back in the day, my daughter used to go hood rattling. She'd sit on people's hoods playing music, getting stoned out of a nut. <laughs> Seriously, I shouldn't even laugh, but she had a good time. Right, focus your mindset on what you can control instead of what you can't, okay? The world is your oyster. What did I just say? You can do anything you want to do now, guys, and you can, all right? The world is your oyster. Elevate your thought patterns so that you can attract abundance into your life. You are what you believe you are. And you believe you're anything. You can be anything you want. Don't be stuck. Okay, if you've had a past of people telling you, you can't do this, you can't do that. No, it's because they can't do it. Not because you can't do it. Because they can't do it and they know you can. So if you do it, you've got better than them. All right? Always remember that. Don't go by childhood um, things either. I always got it off all my parents. You won't do that. What do you want to do it for? Have you heard what she's doing? And then they'd make me look like an idiot. And then I wouldn't want to do it. And I thought well, I might as well not do it. I probably wouldn't be any good at it. Then they go, oh, go on, that's it, Kerry. Get a cleaning job with your nan. And like I never had, my, they never wanted me to step further with anything. That's why I got pregnant at 15 to get out of the house. And I did. And I know it sounds terrible, but I had to escape my mum's house. So I had to get pregnant. So I knew, I knew she'd throw me out. But I didn't think it was going to be as hard as it was on me and my big ideas. So yeah, so then I, uh, and then I nearly got married off. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, I still get on with my daughter's dad. I mean, we've been out a few times, you know, took all the kids up the beach, his kids and mine. He married my friend from school, like, not like that. He didn't know she was my friend. He was all right, my daughter's dad. A bit of a dickhead, but he was all right as a person, but he's just not very good with my daughter. Didn't give her enough. But um, he gave her time, though. Seriously, more than I did. 
But, um, yeah, it's really strange, mate. And I did, and i done that, and then all of a sudden, I was about to give birth, and I walked downstairs, and uh, they were discussing us of getting a house and that, and I thought, I'm not old enough for a house. I've literally just left my bedroom. I just sold my doll Amy at the um, boot sale. Nearly cried, I had to get rid of my doll. I love my doll. Seriously, I had to get rid of my doll because I was having a real one. I'm like, Amy, no, I didn't want to sell you. So yeah, I just sold Amy at the carpet and then trying to get me married off. So anyway, me and him had a little chat and I was like, I don't want to marry you. He was like, I don't want to marry you either. He's like, I don't even see myself being with you. I said, me neither. I only had like my daughter to get out of the house. And then, uh, well, anyway, that was good because his mum and dad went mad. They disowned us and we ended up living in a room somewhere in the middle of Hounslow. And uh, we was all right for about a year or so. And then he left. <laughs> and he had enough. He left. He couldn't cope. I thought, never can I. Why are you leaving me? I can't cope either. So, yeah, he left me. But um, he always saw my daughter, but he was a bit of a, didn't, not very reliable. But he's, he's still been in her life now, on and off. And uh, I've been round there and we've had a night round there together. Me, Nikita and him and his kids it was quite funny us all together but yes yeah, so i nearly got married off mate married off when i was 17 crazy i could tell you so much about my life it's unreal seriously you wouldn't believe my life i could write a book because that's when it all it all got got that's when it all started getting worse <laughs> when i had my daughter oh but geez, i'll tell you i could i well, should write a book really i hope you like my story i've got so much i could tell you seriously i have we're doing the life of Kerry. <laughs> right, so if you think you're alone, get on with it. I do, just, I do veer off, guys. But I want to be your friend. I want to be here and have a chat with you. Like, I don't want to be fake like other tarot readers because they're all fake. They're all on there for you to like them and make them their channel grow just so they make money. They're not there for you, okay? And I'm here for you. I know I get less subscribers by chatting, but I don't care because as long as I've got more important subscribers but less of them i don't mind because there's people growing on youtube that are getting up to like 9.1 k like views now but it's only because they're blagging you and um, their titles they put in there they make them dramatic so you get attracted to the actual video but the video is nothing to do with the title that they've wrote and also they do star signs which i know you like star signs yeah but you're all the same you're all the same at the moment. So people that say Sagittarius reading, you could watch it if you're a Virgo. And it's the same story. I mean, you've got to be a bit clued up. And then you can watch an Aquarius one. It's the same story as a collective. So they're giving you a collective reading and just putting a, an air sign on it or an earth sign. Now, I could do that. I could do this as a Virgo channel, which I was going to. But I don't want to because we're all a collective. So if you're reading a Scorpio and you're, say, a Gemini, that reading will be for you. Because at the moment, we're in spiritual warfare and we are all a collective. So if you're reading Star Sign Tarot, you're just bumping their channels up to get them more money. They're only putting in that effort just to get money. They don't care about you because they're telling you, have a look at them today. They're all the same stories. Seriously. And then you'll get it because I'm very intuitive. You'll get a couple of them that try and turn it as if you're adopted or your father wasn't your real father no it means that the partner you had wasn't supposed to be with you you were supposed to meet someone else and they would belong to someone else who was their missus they're a collective and they'll try and change it and you can hear the voice when they keep laughing and you think you're just changing this story it's still the older man who's gone off with whoever and he's still a pervert but they make it it's your dad so now you don't belong to your dad and now you'll be worried do i need a dna from my dad it's all a load of crap and it is because it's a collective okay we're all a collective and we will be for quite a long time that's why i don't do personal readings because if i was to do your personal reading you'd all get the same reading because it'll come up as a collective and it will because that's just the way it is at the moment that's just the way it is some things will never change yeah, don't you believe it? Don't believe all the tarot readers. You'll be careful who you're watching, guys, because I saw someone there last night. And there's some demonic tarot readers that are guiding you the wrong way. Come back. Be careful. Right, get on with it, Kerry. I need to tell you things sometimes because I'm guided to, because I'm a guided reader, okay? So if you think you're alone, oh, go on, son. Oh, someone's singing outside my window. I love that. Isn't that nice? Did you hear that? 
Oh, I love it when people sing. That's so nice. Sorry, I, I get you tipped away from it. People don't do that here. It's a lady outside and she's singing. <laughs> oh, the happiness is passing around the estate. So we'll start again. If you think you're alone, you're not, okay? You might have someone singing outside your window. That's because of me and my singing. So it's catching. Right, so we are beside you. That's the angels, all right? They are beside you in all challenges that you face. So trust that outside sources will always be working with you to ensure the best outcome of every situation, okay? We are your best interests at heart. Oh, we love you, all right? So that's your angels, okay? We have your best interests at heart. Not we are. I'm dyslexic, guys, sorry. So you're not alone. The angels are with you. They are beside you every challenge you face. So trust that outside sources will always be working with you to ensure the best outcome, all right? And don't forget, you don't fake it till you make it. There's no faking it till you make it here. We face it until we make it here. I hate that saying. Fake it till you make it. No, fake people do that. And then you make it, and then you're still a fake, so you haven't made it. So if you face it until you make it, you will make it, okay? That's what got me through life. I right, to say about face it, my nan used to say, no, you face it. You face it till you make it. And you do. And then you will make it. I'm going really cold, guys. But angels, any more on them? We've got some lovely cards today. I love it when I veer off, because you are supposed to hear what I say. You are. Right, trust yourself more, all right? Know that you are in the right place at the right time. Now, opportunities will present themselves to you when they are meant to. All in divine timing, guys, all right? Get excited about the future again instead of fearing it. Don't fear nothing. Fear is not real. Fear is just what's been installed in you as a child or you just felt fear from your ex or whoever. Fear is not real, okay? The thought of doing something is what makes you frightened. When you actually do it, how do you know you're going to feel frightened when you do it? Because you haven't done it, so you won't know. So don't be frightened of anything. Face it until you make it. All right, guys? Right, do we need another one of them? Or shall we have? I'm being drawn to these ones, my oracles. I won't make this too long for you. I do appreciate the time you spend with me. Sometimes I don't know what the cards say, and I will be honest and ask you, and then you'll tell me in the comments, <laughs> because sometimes I don't know the big words, and I don't. But um, I'm only honest with you guys. I'm more intelligent about life than I am about English and maths, to be honest. I um, They're not important to me. Right, dispersion. I take one thing at a time and focus on the present moment. I get rid of my doubts and all my fears dissipate. I find peace in my life. And that's you now, guys, that is. You find in peace in your life. These are lovely for you today. Angels, I knew they needed to give you messages because you need to know what your angels are thinking. And you do. Whoa. Any more cards, angels, for your messages for the collective and what you want to tell them today? Oh, this is the word I didn't know the other day as well. Equilibrium. Equilibrium? Equilibrium. Is that right? Equilibrium. Tell, let me know in the comments. I know I don't mind and I don't. Equilibrium. I don't know what that means and I don't. Sorry, I don't. Right, must mean balance. I think someone told me. It. Yes, you did. You told me it meant balance. Yeah, he says here, I have found balance in all areas of my life. I am the master of my daily life. I bring love to my world by meeting the needs of my body and soul. Yeah, it was equilibrium because, John, you messaged me and told me and someone else did. I just remembered. I've, see, I do have a flashback and I know. I'm not thick. I just, there's some things I just don't know, like as in big words. And um, I just had my own words growing up as I did. My son corrected me the other day. I can't remember what it was about. Pacific, that was it. He went, Mum, why did you used to tell us it was Pacific? And it about the Pacific Ocean. It wasn't Pacific. <laughs> oh, they used to speak like me. I was like, oh, I don't know. Listen, lucky I'm still alive, mate. Don't worry about the spelling Pacific. I meant Pacific as in being Pacific. But I used to say that about the Pacific. The Pacific. <laughs> still now I can't do it. Right, unconditional love. I have no resentment towards others. 
I open my mind's eye and find the good in everyone. I see the pure child in everyone and I practice forgiveness. All right, guys. We didn't have no lights. I wanted to see. I'm a little animal. <laughs> I'm a little animal. Right, I'm not going to do anything on the splits because I'm not and I don't want to. So I don't know what you're doing today. What are you doing? Let me know in the messages. Are you cooking? Are you moving? Are you cleaning? Are you working? What projects are you working on? Let me know. Please do. Anything you want to start, start now, guys, all right? Don't worry. Just do it, and you don't know until you try. And whatever you do, I'm going really goosey, guys. You will make a success of it because it's yours. And don't worry what other people said about you can't do this and you can't do that. I told you before, it's because they can't do it. You can. They're not as strong as you. That's why they try and take away your confidence. People try and take away your confidence because they know, oh, this person could do this and I wouldn't and they'd be able to wipe the floor with me. Yeah, that's why you get up and do it. All right? My trust in life is self-evident. Yes, it is, guys. God's powerful knowledge and great love guides my heart and my choices. My faith is strong and I am faithful to my heart. Everything unfolds according to God's will. All right, guys. So these are more God messages or from the universe, whatever you want to say. And the other ones are angel messages, okay? I told you before, you work for God, your angels work for you, okay? So you have to tell your angels what you want them to do, all right? You must, because like I told you before, you would never bow in front of your angels. They would say, why are you bowing in front of me? I work for you. They work for God, okay? And you work for God. So remember, ask your angels what you want. Always thank your angels and always tell them what you want them to do. And tell them to protect your family as well. And to protect you every time you leave the house, every time you do something, every time you eat food, tell them to bless your food. Protect your food so you don't get poisoned. And if you do, that enters your body safely. Because I know a lot of us have been poisoned with food. So always bless your food and thank God for your food. But bless it as well. Just tell, ask your angels for everything. As they'll be sitting there bored, they won't know what to do. Angels will only move on your behalf. You have the authority to tell your angels to do stuff, okay? Make them a dinner. One day, do what I do on a Sunday. I make, all di I make a dinner for my ancestors. And um, they eat it through tasting it, through what you eat. And then you just leave it out on the side, whatever's left over. Just dish it up while you're making cakes. Say, ancestors, I'm making you cakes today. Please try my cakes. So when you eat, they will be able to taste what you're tasting and enjoy the food with you. And they'll be there when you're cooking as well and put their love into your food. So, yeah, just do that. Sometimes on a Sunday, I say, angels, help yourself, enjoy my food. And we have a roast dinner and they sit there and it's because they can taste what I taste. So they can enjoy it. Maybe do something like your grandparents used to like or make a cake that they liked. I don't know what I'm getting. Is I always get things for a reason so it resonates with you. But yeah, my granddad used to eat swede. Now I love swede because I'd eat mine. Then I'd sit on his lap and my granddad, he didn't tell me till later. He used to give me extra portions. So I'd be like, granddad, you've got loads of swede. Let me have that. So I'd sit and eat it. My nan done the best swede. She put loads of butter in it, loads of pepper. And we obviously spent a lot of time at my grandparents' house. And um, yeah, so... Um, we would sit there and I'd sit on his lap and I'd eat it all but little did I didn't know till later my dad said granddad used to put extra on there for you I was like oh don't spoil it that's what they're like spoil everything I thought hey, granddad sweet no he didn't eat his own you just got extra and like but I still had a good time with my granddad. But yeah, so now what I do, if I ever do sweet, I'm like, granddad, I'm doing you some sweet. And I, I picture us sitting there eating and me being on his lap. And it's great. It's nice memories. And I bet he says, oh, I ain't as good as your nan's. <laughs> right, life force. Oh, we can sing it now. I'm a little lad I'm a little lad I have to do it, guys. I'm sorry. Whether it grates you or not. <laughs> I am a being of light. I'm a little animal. I receive the divine energy within. I regenerate every cell. I'm a little animal. I love that lighthouse song. Honestly, I don't even know the words to it. That's the only bit I know. Because <laughs> when he starts singing that, I love it. I don't know why, but it's stuck to me on here. I know it probably gets me nerves, but I don't care. <laughs> Ding of the bells. We've got a nice energy today. I feel really happy today, and I do. I feel a bit chubby, but it's all right. 
<laughs> right, uh, we're going to do a prayer. Oh, I chose the prayer for you, and I think I'll shut the page on it. There was a prayer I chose. Hang on, it might come out. Oh, hang on, it was October, because I chose one for today. I thought, hang on, let me have it for today's date. I've got, I don't normally choose a prayer, but this one I wanted to do. Because it's praying for everyone else as well. And I really wanted to... Where is it? October. If I can't find it, it doesn't matter. Because this one was like... Um, I've never seen this before. If you like this book, it is 365 Days of Prayer for Women. And it's on Amazon. It's leather casing. It's only about four or five pounds. And it is so beautiful. And you have so many prayers in there. Because me, I'm not very good at praying. I can talk to God on a personal level. But I wanted to pray. Right, well, it's come out at this, so I'm going to do this one because it literally popped open, okay? Oh, my light's gone off just as I was doing the press. Weird, isn't it? Right, guys, so I won't be able to see nothing. <laughs> now I won't be able to see anything. Right, stay in focus. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. Okay, guys, so stay in focus. Father, thank you for my life. I love our closeness. I love you. I regret the time I spend comparing it to the lives of others, thinking that a newer house or a more talented child or a more prominent position or any host of other things would make me more fulfilled. Your love makes me fulfilled. I know this is true. Even to be jealous of others intimacy with you dishonours you i am sorry for it god the time and attention you give them takes not one second away from intimacy available to me i know this too help me keep my focus here father on the satisfaction of living in your love amen that's really lovely guys that is i love that and i want to do this one for you as well it says it is not yet time for the message to come true, but that time is coming soon. The message will come true. It may seem like a long time, but be patient and wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not be delayed, okay? So it's called Meet Me. God, you know the right time for everything. I tend to doubt this when your timing clashes with my desires, but later... When your timing is revealed, I see without foul that it is better. Sometimes it's dramatic. A missed traffic light saves me from an accident. A missed opportunity leads to, far be to a far better one. Other times you are more subtle. I love this. Since I have to wait, I slow down and watch, trying to discern what you are up to. And I do see things like beauty and humour. And I certainly would have missed. No, that I certainly would have missed. So thank you for slowing me down, Lord. For making me wait. Not only is your timing better, but you meet me in the waiting, bearing beauty and peace. Amen. I love that. Sorry my reading's not great, guys, but I still love to read. And I do read a lot as well. So, amen. So, guys, thanks for coming to my channel. I really do appreciate all your likes, your subscriptions, your shares, and your support. All your donations, I'm truly, truly grateful. Because, like I told you before, Gypsy's going down for a operation on the 7th. So, I'm nearly there with her um, vet bills. So, fingers crossed she's going to make it because she's very old to have an operation. But she needs this lump off, and she does. Because it is in the way, and it might get caught, and it's getting bigger as well. So, um... Yeah, she needs it because she can't put her coat on properly at the moment. Right, decision making. Right, guys, we're going to end on this. Choose positive energy, okay, today. Light and calm. I'm a little little. <laughs> I choose happiness no matter what I experience, okay? So stay happy today, guys. I overcome fear and inform God of my thoughts. I wanted to end that view because I felt like I wanted to pull you another card. So choose positive energy only today. Be light, be happy, and be calm. Just choose happiness over everything. No matter what happens, okay? Overcome fear. What did I tell you? Fear is not real, guys. It's instilled in you as a child, okay? Or by other cretins in your life. So, 
Thanks for coming to my channel, channel, channel. Uh, howdy, doody, uh, welcome to my channel. <laughs> you gotta sing with me, guys. You get some t-shirts soon. Ooh, ooh. Right, guys, I love you. Have a beautiful day. I'll be back soon. And I'm really happy today because I had an early night. It might resonate with you. I'm trying to go to bed before... Um, about 11 o'clock now because I stay up all night. I'm not even a smoker anymore. Like, well, marijuana. It's been nearly two years now. I said to you the other day it's been a year. It hasn't. It hasn't been a year. It's been nearly two years. See, I miss time where I'm like healing. And I thought when I said to you about, oh, I haven't smoked for a year. It's not. I haven't smoked for nearly two years. This December coming up, be nearly two years I haven't had a joint. And not even a puff. I've been well good. And I would tell you if I, if I cheated. But um, I haven't. And I've been really good. And I'm and I am, so I've got to give up smoking, so if ever I get um, sorted out, I will get my teeth done. And if I get my teeth done, I've sworn I will give up cigarettes, and I will drink coffee through a straw. Because I wanted my teeth done for so long. Oh, I wouldn't eat, mate. I'd be anorexic, it would just be gnashes. <laughs> Don't touch the teeth. Everything I eat will be white. I'd have to eat cauliflower, like white bread, rice. I wouldn't, oh, could imagine having a curry, mate. I'd stain them, my old gnashes would be stained jello. I'm calling me Tumor, Tumor, Tumor at Tina. <laughs> right, guys, I love you. And I do. Have a lovely day, yeah? And namaste. Mwah. Crazy, isn't it, mate? Always is.